search marketing analytics. So let's start off with our deck on analytics. So for the agenda, we're going to do an overview of full analytics and then we're going to talk we're going to talk about how full analytics works. So before we talk about what is analytics, let's go back a few years. Back in the late 90s when hits were king. If I were to say my website got 1 million hits, then that, that was a great thing in the, late, in the late 90s. But today, advertisers, websites require more comprehensive information to conduct business. You know, where did the traffic come from? Are, is the traffic, the people buying anything once they reach your website? Are there any shopping cart abandonment? Who's abandoning the shopping cart? Those are the types of things that advertisers now need to understand above and beyond just simply hits from the late 90s. So what is analytics? Analytics provides advertisers with information on website activity. Simple as that. And with Yahoo Analytics, we simply collect information by placing JavaScript tags where the advertiser places our Yahoo JavaScript tags on their website. So we have two different types of analytics packages. We have conversion only and we have full analytics. Today we're going to be talking about full analytics, but conversion only is a bit of a scaled down version of full analytics. Full analytics offers the entire sales funnel from the impressions to the clicks to the leads to the prospect to the browsers to the conversion. And I'll explain what all of that means later on in this presentation. But it, just know that full analytics gives a broader picture of what's happening. The full analytics sales funnel. So we have impressions on the, the top end of this, this chart here. Impressions are simply the advertiser's ad being displayed and, and seen by a visitor. From there we have a click. A click is when, an when a visitor clicks on the advertiser's ad. A lead is calculated when the advertiser, excuse me, the visitor actually makes it to the advertiser's page. A browser is a visitor who views more than one page while on the advertiser's site. A prospect is a visitor who reaches an intent to transact page. And a conversion is a visitor who completes a call to action, such as buying something or signing up for something. It's typically a conversion is calculated on the advertiser's thank you page. Something that's unique to Yahoo is a metric called assist. Assist simply measure the number of times a keyword contributed to an, event an eventual conversion credit to another keyword within a 45 day window. As an example, let's say for instance, I'm a visitor on Yahoo and I do a search on the word hotel. I click on the link, I land on the advertiser's page, but for whatever reason I decide not to purchase. Let's say an hour later or a few days later, I am on Yahoo again and I do a search for W Hotel Times Square. I land on that same advertiser's page, I see something I like, I buy or I reserve a room, then what happens is WH excuse me, uh, W Hotel Times Square gets calculated with the conversion. The hotel term gets the assist. So how does full analytics work? In this diagram, you'll notice that we have a few things going on here. On the far left, by the number one, we have the Yahoo website, a, the ad advertisement on the, the site. The visitor clicks on that site and lands on the advertiser's page which is embedded with our Yahoo JavaScript tags. Once the visitor reaches the page, our Yahoo data centers collect, process, and store that website activity information. And then number four, the advertiser can log into their sponsored search account and view 
reports that pertain to that website activity. Full analytics features and benefits. Full analytics comes with consultation and technical support. A nice feature is third party tracking. Through Yahoo Full Analytics, we can track third party events such as a Google campaign or an MSN campaign or an Ask campaign. An advertiser can track that activity through their Yahoo search marketing interface. We can track up to five different prospect conversion event types. We can track different visitor types, new, returning, repeat customers, things of that nature. We can track sales funnel abandonment at key, port, key points in the conversion process. As I said earlier, we can track assists. We have performance reports, the multi-channel performance and traffic reports available. We also have a search marketing optimization feature built in. And then probably the, one of the best features is this service, these features, Yahoo Full Analytics that is, is free of charge. Some analytics packages run upwards of $70,000, but Full Analytics is free. Some Full Analytics reports that are available, we have a multi-channel performance report, campaign performance reports, daily performance reports, marketing activity performance reports, and a number of other reports that's, that are available through Full Analytics. Next slide, on the view reports, you can see a sample report. We have two sample campaigns and you can see the sales funnel from the leads to the browsers, to the prospects, to the assist, and then down to the conversions. Setting up full analytics at the master account level. When tagging a site, the tags that pertain to a given master account cannot be shared between master accounts. So that if you have a master account uh, for a particular website, you cannot use the analytics tags for a different site that pertains to a, a different master account. No sharing of tags in that matter. Setting up full analytics. Simply log into your account. You cl click on the administration tab, click on analytics, select enable analytics and then from there you're given the opportunity to activate full analytics so you cl simply click activate and from there the universal tag is available to you once you activate and then from from there you would simply click on the event tags tab and you have the prospect tag and the conversion tag available to you. The prospect tag is, of course, your tag used to track an intent to transact, and the conversion tag is used um, on the confirmation page. It's a call to action. The universal tag is used to identify and track your visitors' activities, and at a minimum, it needs to be placed on the landing page. The prospect tag is, of course, used to track a visitor's intent to perform a transaction. And then of course the conversion tag is a call to action which is normally placed on the confirmation or thank you page. The next slide is an example of the flow of how the tags are laid out. So on the far left you'll see that we're at the Yahoo site and we move along to the next the next box, if you will, with the U, which stands for universal tag. The universal tag will be placed on the landing page at a minimum. The add to cart page has the universal tag. The begin checkout process, the intent to transact, has the prospect tag immediately followed by the universal tag. The submit purchase has the universal tag. And then the purchase confirmation has the conversion tag immediately followed by Tag. So that's about it. I'd like to thank you for your time here on Sponsor Search Full Analytics. Please feel free to, to check us out at searchmarketing.yahoo.com for more information. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.